What's going on, everybody? This is Brian Mazik. I'm a fight guy, a Forbes contributor, and I also write for heavy.com. And we are powered by Fight TV and presented by Bet Online. And it is time to talk UFC 250 predictions. Been going through every single last fight on this card. Uh, Evan Dunham, 38 years old, veteran, name pretty much synonymous with, uh, you know, kind of, I won't say old school UFC, but definitely like in that almost pioneer kind of range uh overall but this one is in my opinion uh, a pretty uh easy one to call it just and i could be wrong and we're certainly going to find out if i'm wrong but evan dunham's like i said 38 years old coming out of retirement um after his second consecutive loss he suffered that in 2018 against francisco trinaldo making his way back in here to the uh to, to the octagon he's taking on herbert burns who is the brother in case you were wondering of new 170 pounder uh, number one contender actually is gilbert burns this fight is going to take place at a 150 pound catch weight i think that's probably more uh for dunham who might have you know kind of been committing to this a little bit late and coming in and jumping in back into this fight after at one point it was canceled and called off um but Burns is 32 and he's on a hot streak, man. His last time out, he smoked, smoked Nate Landwehr with a vicious, nasty knee, knocked him out cold. And he did that after he choked out Derek Minner uh, on Dana White Tuesday Night Contender Series. So the Burns family has some things happening. Now, if you're not familiar with Evan Dunham, you don't know. He is a very good grappler, always has been a very good grappler. But in my opinion, I, I don't think he's necessarily superior to Gilbert Burns on the ground. And that is where you would suspect Evan Dunham to have his advantage if he has one. On the feet, I think we've seen from Herbert Burns, what we've seen from him, especially initially, you'd have to say his stand-up is better than Evan Dunham. Now, I've been one that has followed one championship for the past three, four years. And so I remember and I know that Evan, uh, that uh, Herbert Burns did quite well in one championship before he lost his last two fights and moved over and started fighting elsewhere. Uh, so he took out some 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 relatively solid names, Timofey Nastyukin, who is actually the guy who just knocked out Eddie Alvarez in at one championship. He had some good wins there. So some people maybe stateside may not be familiar with Herbert Burns, but I am. And I think that he's really shown and picked up some serious momentum here with the UFC winning two in a row and i really think that though dunham's a good grappler i don't think he outclasses burns there but i do think that burns has the potential to outclass evan dunham on the feet and i see this one going a pretty lopsided way i think herbert burns who is a minus 225 favorite according to bet online's most recent odds i think he gets this victory by a first or second round tko i honestly don't see this one being uh overly difficult for uh for my man herbert burns i think he stays hot and gets this victory and um yeah i don't know evan dunham's gonna have some questions more than likely to answer because he came out of retirement for this fight and um so the pressure's on him obviously to, to get the victory but i don't think he'll get that done i got herbert burns getting this victory first or second round tko